Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week on House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. I'm joined by four famous faces. Every time we press this buzzer right here, a new round comes up. I never know what it's going to be. They never know what it's going to be either. What we do know is at the end of the week, somebody is walking away with this trophy right here. We're only about 15 seconds into the week, and I realize already I've made a terrible mistake. I will tell you what it is in a moment after we meet our players. They are Tyler West, <laughs> Bonnie Langford, Charlie Hedges, and Myra Dubois. Hey, everyone. I just got to clear up the mistake I made. Yeah. Tyler, lovely yeah. to have you here. Yeah. Bonnie, lovely to have you Thank here. You. But if I put you the other way around, it would be oh, Bonnie Tyler. Should have switched no. it. Oh, oh, great. And I'm supposed happened. to be a TV producer. <laughs> I'm supposed to have a creative brain. You missed a trick there. Oh, I really did. Um, let's pretend they're the other way around. <laughs> um, Tyler, how are you? Are you, are you a quizzer? Are you a competitive man? Do you know what? I, I'm so competitive, but I'm also so stupid when it comes to quizzes. <laughs> like, I, I'll be honest. Oh. And, and, like, sometimes I'll come out with some absolute gems and you'll all look at me like, how did you know that? Mm. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully, I mean, I can redeem myself today on, on House of Games. Every single person watching who loves this show knows that someone who is super competitive and a bad quizzer is... Our, that's our dream. Yeah. It's our absolute dream. Bonnie, I think you're quite a good quizzer. I know very weird things and I don't... Actually, it's the same. I don't know why I know weird pieces of information, which can be helpful and can be absolutely... Useless. So, useless it... stuff is usually helpful on this show. <laughs> um, now, Charlie, oh, Charlie, no. now, listen. You <laughs> present a radio show with Ricky and Melvin. Yep. They've both been on. Yep. Okay. Now, Ricky. I know. Would be loved. Imagine if you matched him. He's a champion. Mm. He's won a trophy, Ricky. <laughs> Melvin. Mm -hmm. One of the only two people ever to get a minus score. Yep. On this show. So, <laughs> which one of those are you? Are you most like? Do you think? Honestly. Mm. More than minus one. Um, <laughs> more Melvin. But do you know what? I'm aiming for the middle. In my head, middle would be Somewhere, good. somewhere in between. Yeah, yeah. Myra, how lovely to have you here. Welcome Hello, along. Richard, love. Listen, at the end of the show, someone's winning this trophy, mm -hmm. right? But at the end of each day, we also have some daily prizes. Would right. you like to take a look at the, the first batch of daily prizes? I would prizes? like nothing more. In fact, I insist. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Which of these would you like? There are the sliders, the oh. toolbox, the chopping board, the pasta maker or the creepy driving gloves? It looks like the props table for Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what's that thing next to the glove that you grind things in? A pasta maker. A pasta maker? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I'll go for the red gloves, cos I think I'm more likely to be able to re-gift those. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Charlie. I'm going to go for the toolbox. Bonnie? Oh, I think I would go for the chopping board. I would see you every morning when I'm having my toast. Tyler, what would you go for? What size are the sliders? No, whatever size you want, cos you've, you've got big feet. I've got size 12. We were talking about it before the show. Look, if it fits my toe, I'm happy. <laughs> um, should we play our first yeah. game of the yeah. week? Oh. Our first round is... <laughs> Sounds like... Fingers on buzzers, please. First thing I'll do is show you a category. Your first category today is drinks. I'm going to show you some pictures. Just tell me what's in the pictures and they will give you the name of a drink. Mm -hmm. Here's your first one. Good luck, one and all. <laughs> yes, Charlie. I know that's a knee and that was... I, don't, I can't remember her name. That's really bad. Martini! <laughs> <laughs> Is it Martin? I mean, Martin. listen, if you did that on a Friday, I wouldn't have sorry, it. Sorry, it's sorry, Monday. sorry. <laughs> sorry, I do. <laughs> Am I right, though? Yeah. Yes! Martin Lee. Richard, I've got a point. Yeah, I saw that. I know. Oh. I'm so happy. Martin McCutcheon and a knee. Martini. Well done. Next one. Drink is this. Yes, Charlie. Absinthe. Charlie Hedges. Jeez, How about that? on it. Some abs absinthe. Absinthe. Next drink. Do you know this one at home? Uh, what is that first one? Do you know this, Richard? No. Shall we, shall we see what the answer idea. is? Yeah. Cognac. Oh, 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 that was a bit. Well, now you wow. say it. Con well, well done if you said that. I that guess was... if you knew that was a yak, you might have yeah. some, but yeah. uh, I don't think we did know it. I don't know it was a yak, no. Um, no more drinks, next category. Insects. Which insects are these? <laughs> yes, Charlie. Fire ant. Fire ant. She's unstoppable, isn't she, Charlie? Fire ant. Well done. Next insect. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, Myra. Cockroach. Cockroach. Mm. Oh, well done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was excellent. Bill Roach there. I was thinking, like, Chip Ken. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, that's not... Oh, well done. Next insect. Bonnie. Midge. Midge is the answer. That's mid year. Very good. The last category is wrappers. Which wrappers are these? Yes, Myra. Snoop Dogg. <gasps> Snoop Dogg is absolutely right. Some snooping and a dog there. Cute dog. Next wrapper. Rapper. I know. No. Do we get clues? Yeah, the clue is if you were a DJ on Radio One or. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I don't know who. DJs don't I know do who this. He is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Who uh, the is that Rick Astley? Is. Yeah. That is Rick Astley. And David Schwimmer. Yeah. So that's what we've got to work with. Or Ross, our friends. Oh. Charlie. Rick Ross. Oh. Rick Ross. oh. Rick Ross. Final <laughs> rapper, final question in this round. Who is this? Tyler. Little Sims. Little Sims. Get <laughs> in. Well done. Little Sims, Ralph Little and some Sim cards. Little Sims. It's the end of the round. Everybody's off the mark. That's exactly how we like it. Take a look at our avatars. Tyler and Bonnie, you have uh, one point. They're so annoying, it's Tyler, Bonnie. Anyway, listen, <laughs> uh, that's what's happening. Myra, you have two. Charlie, our early leader with four points. Well, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Making the most of it. Yeah. Yeah. Making the most of it. Fabulous. Well done, everyone. Let's play our first pairs game of the week, shall we? It's going to be... <laughs> Distinctly average. The player in the last place gets to choose their partner. Tyler and Bonnie, you're tied third. Bonnie, why don't you choose a partner for this? I think I'm going to go with my lovely friend Myra. You're going to go with Myra. Bonnie and Charlie, if you'll swap places, so please. Swap. Come on then, Tyler. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, Thank you. Tyler and Charlie are a team. Okay. Bonnie and Myra. This was a, this team has been. I mean, that's been brewing a long time. Well, we did panto in Bromley together, and once you've done that, you're unstoppable. No. Yes. Really? Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. We've got battle scars together. Sisters from another it? Mister. That's we are it. definitely. Tablets out, please, everyone. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You write me down a number, Someone's and I'll take the off. average of each pair's number as their answer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And your first question looks like this: How many hairdressers and beauty salons were there in the UK in 2022, please? according to the Office for National Statistics. Wow. That's a good question, isn't it? Hmm. What do you reckon at home? Take an average if you want. Come and tell her. Get the whole family to give an answer. I'd say there's about... <sighs> um, have you got an answer at home on this one? Tyler, it's a tricky one, isn't it? There's a lot. I mean, to some, some of you it might be tricky, but for me, oh, I mean... Yeah. I've, what, I've been to about, what, five different barbers in my lifetime. Yep. Finally found my right one. I've stuck with him. I'm loyal. So he's just got his What's one. What's his name? Uh, Corey he is. Corey. Yeah, I'm I think Corey. Corey. Um, so then I've got Corey, and then I, I think about, like, times in it by, like, how many barbershops I've been to. So times by five. Yeah. Uh, Carried a two. Times by about 100. What, how many other roads are there in the UK? There's yeah, probably about exactly. 52,000 or something like that. <laughs> times that up, round it up, divide it by how many of us there are here today. 16,021. Wow. 16, and like how you got there, Tyler. I guarantee you two points if you're bang on. Yeah? yeah. Showed my workings out. Thank uh, you very much. Charlie, you up or down from that? I've just gone for 15,000. Oh, OK. So you've what is close. that in the bottom? That's here. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you don't know where it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so 15,000, you're saying. <laughs> uh, your average? Is fifteen thousand five hundred and ten and a half. That's really close, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Point five um, gives you half a haircut. Bonnie, what are you thinking? Every, well, every village almost you go to has got a hair salon. It's got it? at least yeah. one, yeah. if not yeah. three. Yeah. Um, and I tried to work it all out, but then I got lost and started drawing eyelashes and put ten thousand. Ten thousand. So everyone's pretty so close. Oh. Some lovely drawings as well. Myra, up or down from ten thousand? Uh, uh, well, down. <laughs> Um, I went with 3,400. 3,400, right. says Myra. Mm. So your average is 6,700. Let's find out how many hairdressers and beauty salons were there. Who's won the first point? 
48,000. Wow. So not close, but close enough to get yourselves a point. Very well done if you were up around that number at home. Nicely done. Uh, the next thing I'd like you to uh, find is this. A number that answers this question. How many doors are oh, there no. in the White House? <laughs> wow. You've been to the White House? It's interesting to think how many doors there are in your own house. Yes. So this is internally as well as externally? Yes. Yeah. We've got, like, the big door at the front. <laughs> that's one. <laughs> oval office. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's got to have a door. We've got a secret door in it's there. It's hard well. to put a door in an oval room, though. The bathrooms. Bathrooms. Loads okay. of bathrooms in there. OK, everyone is in. Bonnie, what are you saying on this one? Well, I went for a number that I felt was an emergency. So I went for 911. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Myra, up or down from 911? Down. I, there's no way of knowing this. And so I just thought, well, what have we got in the UK that's like the White House? Well, we've got Downing Street, so I just put 10. Yeah. And, and that's ten. just how I picked a number. I will go on record as saying I think there's probably going to be more than 10. Oh. But listen, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But this might be a good average. 460 and a half. Got... And a half? What are they yeah, going to do with like half a door? One saloon Stable door. door. One. <laughs> saloon door. Yeah. Um, Charlie, what do you think? <laughs> I've just gone again for a random number, cos, like you say, how are we meant to know that? So I've just gone for 130. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like a number safe. of doors. Mm. Tied up, up or down from 130. Um, I actually went up. Um, my mate fits doors for a living. OK. It's irrelevant, but yeah, 182. John fits doors. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 182. Yeah. yeah. Um, so your average is 156. Oh. Good. 156, 460. What have you got at home on this one? Let's find out how many doors are there in the White House and who's won the point. Yeah. 412. Oh. You say what you want about Bonnie this, and Myra. Doors. Um, <laughs> final question in this round. When you set a Guinness World Record in 2007. How many days did it take Jeremy Harper to count out loud every whole number from one to one million? Oh, get a hop. Just take a second for Jeremy. <laughs> wow. That is. <laughs> hey, what are you doing on Friday? Oh, I can't, man. <laughs> I'm counting to, count to a million. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing the 300 thousands. <laughs> wow. That's tickled me. What do you think at home? I bet there's people at home now who are, like, counting to 100, timing that, then multiplying it. 500,000. He's was it 24 days. hours he was counting, or did he sleep? 16 hours a day, someone just uh, said to me. Oh. We're all in. Tyler, I, want, I really want to see your workings out and hear about them. All right, so let me deep it for you, Rich. Yeah? Let, so, sorry, let you what it for me? Let me, let me deep it for you. <laughs> oh, thank let you. me break it down. Yeah, no, 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 listen, deep it for me, please. So, right, think about it. <laughs> it's like 60 seconds in a minute. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Did he get a point for that? Hold on, hold on. I need, I need, I, that's, I've only just opened up the oh, equation. Oh, you got more. There's like 60 minutes in an hour. Yes. 24 hours in a day. So then you divide 1 million by 24 by 60 by um, 60 seconds in the minute. Yeah. And I think you end up as an average and you times that. And I think that that's 24 hours um, into four days. Four days, you're saying. Four days. Charlie, up or down from four days? I went up because. Knowing it's Tyler, average. I thought he was going to go very low. So I thought, <laughs> I don't even know what the answer is, obviously. No. But I thought if I go higher, our average might work out. OK. OK. So 35, 35 days. You have gone big. Yeah, I have, but, yeah, but who knows? Exactly. Yeah. So your average, Tyler and Charlie, mm. is 19 and a half days. Bonnie, what do you think? He did it for charity, this, this guy, to be fair. Did That's it like it was on an internet stream. Um, you see, he didn't count for 24 hours a day. So I went six days. Myra, up or down from six days? Up. Let me deep it for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. To prepare us for me winning my gloves, let's deep yeah. it. <laughs> and um, I thought, what's the answer to everything? So I've just put 42. Ah, interesting. So your average, Myra and Bonnie, is 24. What do we oh, think at close. home? How long would this have taken in days? We've got 19, we've got 24. Let's find out who's won the final point of the round. Oh, oh. Days. Oh. It took a long time. Oh. Doors and counting. Oh. Doors and counting. God, a million is a lot, right? 89 days. Well done, Jeremy. As I say, well thank done, goodness it was for charity. Well yes. Um, that's the end of that round. So tablets away, please, everybody. Thank you.
Well and Charlie and Bonnie, if you will swap back, back please. Again. <laughs> Welcome back, Bonnie. Thank you. Um, and we'll take a look at the leaderboards. Lovely and close. Tyler, you have two. Bonnie, you have three. Myra, you got four. Charlie stood out on the lead with five. Well done, everybody. Oh, Bonnie, Good stuff. Everybody's still in it, though. Let's play round three, shall we? It is. Games House of Fingers on Buzzers, please, everyone. In this one, I will ask you a question. You have to give your answer in alphabetical order. Ah. OK. So, Myra, if I asked your name, you'd have to say Dubois Myra. Gotcha. OK. So here's your first one. The rapper Sean Coombs was known by what stage name in the late 90s before changing it to P. Diddy in 2001? Charlie. Daddy Puff. Daddy Puff. Absolutely, Puff Daddy becomes Daddy Puff. Next one. What is this? Yes, Charlie. Cookie Fortune. Cookie Fortune. Absolutely right. Cookie Fortune, Fortune Cookie. Next question. In which 2007 post-apocalyptic film does Will Smith play a lone survivor who wanders the streets of New York? Yes, Tyler. Legend Am I? That is incorrect, I'm afraid. Yes, Myra. I'm Legend I. I'm Legend I? Oh. Correct. Charlie. Am um, I Legend? Am I Legend? It's the right answer. Well done. Thanks. Am I Legend? I am Legend. We'll play Charlie. Next one. What is the title, please, of this song? Ending up just another lost home. Myra. Right. That's not part of it. <laughs> Neither's that. Um, <laughs> hearts. Free. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh. Yes, Charlie. Um, free. Hearts. Run. Young. Free. Hearts. Run. Young. Young. Hearts. Run. Free. Very well played. By Candy Staten. Next one. Who is this? Yes, Charlie. Uh, Gaga Lady. Gaga Lady? It is Gaga Lady. Charlie, amazing stuff. <laughs> Final question in this round. What do the letters WWW stand for at the start of an internet address? Yes, that is Charlie. Um, uh, wide? Incorrect. Oh. Right. Yes, Bonnie. Web. Wide World. Oh. Web Wide World. Well played, Bonnie Langford. Yeah. Yeah. World Wide Web becomes Web Wide World. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. Two rounds to go on Monday's House of Games. Two rounds before we give away our first prize of the week. Tyler, oh, you have Charlie. two. Bonnie and Myra, four points each. Add them all together. What do you get? You get ten points. Charlie Hedges. Oh, wow. wow. Well done, Two rounds to go still. Our next round is... I'm terrible at dating. Tablets out, please, everybody. I'm going to give you a series of events from history. You have to tell me the year in which you think they happened. Whoever is closest oh, gosh. will score a point. I know. It doesn't often go well, this round, Charlie. No. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Here's your first one. When did this happen, please? Mary the First, later known as Bloody Mary, is born. When did that happen? Mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like... That's the perfect sound of what everyone's thinking, mate. Uh, go for it. <laughs> cool. OK, what do we think at home on this one? I know some people might get it bang on. I don't think it's going to happen here. Right. It certainly wouldn't be if I was playing. <laughs> Tyler, what's your guess? 10.56. Um, 10.56 says Tyler. Bonnie, what are you saying? I was thinking Tudors, but I think I've gone a little bit late. 1682. 1682, says Bonnie. Mm. Charlie. No idea, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. 1508. 1508. And Myra, any well, thought here? I can't remember whether Bloody Mary was one of Henry's, but I guess that she was. And I remember he's Tudor and he's 15 something. And I thought it must be late enough into the Tudors for him to have a kid. So I've just guessed at 1588. Oh. 1588. Um, what have you got at home on this one? Let's find out, shall we? When was Bloody Mary born and who scored the point? 15, 16, Charlie! See? With an eight-year... Oh, I swear, Charlie, 
take the earpiece out now. It. <laughs> All right. I'm actually going red. I'm a little bit embarrassed. Very well played. <laughs> Next one. Custard powder <laughs> is invented in the UK. I know this one. No, yeah, I, really don't. I wouldn't be I really surprised. Don't. Custard powder. That's good. That's a nice one because you can get it wrong and not feel stupid. We're all in. Bonnie, what do you think on this? Well, I, I felt that it needed to be... It was obviously pre-war. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm not going to... Uh, 1921. That's when a lot I've of things were no invented idea. in that yeah. world, isn't it? Yeah, that yeah. sounds perfectly reasonable no to idea. me. 1921, Charlie. I just had a weird feeling that this is going to be a ridiculous answer. Okay. So I, I, I've given you a ridiculous answer. 1869, <laughs> yeah. just saying. Myra. Well, my reasoning was, this sounds like a war thing. This sounds like mm. a rationing necessity yes. thing. Yeah. So it's got to be long enough into the war for that logic to have kicked in, Ooh. but not too, towards the end of the war. But So I've put 1940, but I'd like to change it to 1869. <laughs> yes. No, no kidding. I think, I think we all would. Good logic, though. Yeah. Uh, Tyler, any logic for you? <laughs> have, you have you written down a number? I've written down a number. Lovely. I thought it was just that big thing that was going off in the 70s, you know? <laughs> 1973, like, you never know. <laughs> but after listening to uh, the explanations over here, I definitely would be rubbing out my answer. 1973, so all the way from 1869 to 1973. What do you think at home on this? When was it invented? Let's find out, shall we, who scored a point? Go! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 wow. Superb. It's going well, isn't it? Uh, invented by Bird from Bird's Custard. Oh. Custard powder. Yes, I'm go. sure Charlie could tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't want wow. to talk. <laughs> um, one final question in this round. Can Charlie complete oh, the clean okay. sweep? Yes. Um, let's find out, <laughs> shall we? Charlemagne is crowned Emperor of the Romans on Christmas Day. In what year did that happen? <laughs> Charlie, what should we put? Do you remember it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. Rich, when, when was the Romans? It was like... <laughs> when was the Romans? Uh, just after that. They were a long time ago, for sure, the Romans. Mm. What do you reckon on this one? Charlie, we start with you. What have you gone with here? <laughs> there we go. 10-10. 10, 10. Mm. 10, 10 Why not? Myra. I've gone Maverick. Oh. I've gone after, much after. Much after. I wonder whether this is a trick question and the crowning of the Emperor of the Romans is some sort of... It was either a Christmas hit or it's some secret society <laughs> thing. <laughs> or it's... Uh, it's there's something... And we're, we're all sat here thinking about, you know, Colosseums and what have you. Yes. But actually, we should be thinking... So I've gone for top ten Christmas number one, 1978. <laughs> <laughs> 78. Uh, Tyler, what are we saying? 865. 865, a long time ago. Your face says oh. that. It was actually like my most sensible suggestion, my well, it, most I, sensible answer this whole... I think it's better than 1978. OK, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Bonnie, what Well, you I just picked a random number, and if it isn't the right number, at least it was time for coffee. 11.30. 11.30. 11.30. Well. Christmas Day coffee. Yeah. So, all the way from 8.65 to 19.78. <laughs> quite the rule. Listen, well, listen, you said you were going Maverick. I don't think you were going to go that Maverick. <laughs> uh, what have you gone for at home on this one? When was Charlemagne crowned? Who has scored the last point of the round? Tyler! Yeah! Look at that! Yeah! I'll take it. Woo! I'll take it. Yeah, that was 8.65. Very, very well done. Yeah, don't, don't close, sleep on me. Uh, don't yeah, sleep on me. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Um, tablets away, please, everybody. We have one round to go. We know it's going to be answer smash, but let's take a look at the leaderboard. I think we might already know who our first champion is going to be, because Charlie's got an eight-point lead. Good grief. Go on, Char. That is incredible. Well done. <laughs> that might be the biggest lead I've ever seen going into a final round. No. Yeah. Wow. What, you've made in points, you've lost in friends. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any in the first place, don't worry. <laughs> Shall we go through our coronation of Charlie <laughs> as we play our first? <laughs> answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Here's your first category. Dog breeds. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. K Sera Sera is the subtitle of which song that was a 1956 UK number one for Doris Day? Bonnie. Whatever will be, will beagle. That's the right answer, Bonnie. Well played. Well played, Bonnie. Next one. 
Which politician finished third on the 2022 series of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? Yes, Myra. Matt Hancock, a Spaniel. <gasps> Matt Hancock, a Spaniel? Mm. Yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> next clue, next picture. Frank Sinatra had a UK top ten hit with a cover version of the theme from which 1977 Martin Scorsese film? Yes, Myra. Uh, New York, New Yorkie. Ah, oh, New York, New Yorkie? Absolutely right. Well done. Yeah, New York, Yorkshire Terrier. But yeah, well, I'm from Yorkshire, so I can say Yorkie. You're allowed to say yeah. Yorkie, absolutely. You're allowed. Um, next category? Film stars. Those will be the pictures. When referring to an alcoholic drink, what does G&T stand for? Yes, Bonnie. Gin and tonic Cole Ki Kidman. Gin and, oh. and, gin and tonic, tonic Cole Kidman. Kidman. Hard to say, but you get a point. Well played, Bonnie. Wow. Yeah. Nicely done. Gin and tonic Nicole Kidman. Next clue, next picture. What is the capital city of Ireland? Yes, Myra. I don't know if I've got the right person. Dublin Ord. Dublin Ord? No. You have not. I'm afraid you lose a point. Charlie. Dublin Z Lohan. Yes. Dublin Z Lohan? 100% right. Well done, Charlie. Uh, next clue, next picture. Which 1981 novel by Michelle McGorian is about a boy called Willie Beach who was evacuated during the Second World War? Yes, Myra. Good night, Mr. Tom. Forgot his second name. Tom. Tom, not Hanks, the other one. Tom... Cruz! It just came to me. It's Cruz! <laughs> Absolutely right. Good You're night, Mr. To Tom Cruz. <laughs> well played, Myra. <laughs> uh, any more categories? Oh. We're done for the day. What a lovely day. Thank you, yeah. everybody. Beautiful. What a fun show. I'm looking forward to tomorrow already. Um, listen, we know who's won. It was such a great performance, Charlie. Mm, thank really you very was much. Right from the start. Thank so you. very, very well played. Great buzzing in, great answering throughout. Let's take a look at our final leaderboards. Our winner on Monday's House of Games is Charlie Hedges. Yes. Well played, Charlie. Oh, thank you so much. Seven point win. Thank Seven you. Seven point win. Uh, you've won a prize, Charlie. I'm going to go for the chopping board. Yeah. I'm sorry, is that OK? No, it's great. Sorry. Go Charlie it. Hedges wins a house of games. Chopping board, well done, Charlie. Nicely done. Thank you. Let's take a first look at our, our weekly leaderboard. Every day, four points for a win and so on. So, Charlie, you're currently up at the top there, but four more days to go. Thank you all so much. Shall we do the same uh, tomorrow? Yeah! Well, fun, Let's Look forward to seeing it. you here. Look forward to seeing you here as well on the House of Games. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome.